destroy the trespassers! so much trouble indeed and they will pay for their transgressions your devotion to namor is pitiful surface dwellers he is lost and as foretold in the atlantean chronicles i will be the ruler of atlantis don't worry about these idiots atuma your loyal minions are more than happy to take care of them. the trespassers! Stick 
together. If you say so. Give me a hand over here. there to search through. Before I go, allow me to summon a little entertainment for you. It's the least.
Atlantis owes you a debt of gratitude. And Namor would like to say something. Surface dwellers, I'll have you know I was perfectly capable of handling the situation alone. Mm, yes, well, you did. So I suppose I should thank you. You now have my permission to leave Atlantis. Good job in Atlantis. Who knows? Atlanteans may even start to tolerate us surface dwellers. And that's why your next stop is his palace in the Valley of Spirits. Yes, I want you to discuss things with Mandarin. Find out what the Masters of Evil are planning. Talk to Black Widow for additional information. Or see Mr. Wingfoot if you're ready to go now. While you're at Mandarin's palace, I need you to bring back the latest Ultimo schematics. No one's sure. Tome of Asarius is an ancient mystical text that explains alternate dimensions. It deals primarily with Mephisto's realm, the Halls of Fear, and the Shadow Realm. All we know is that they've taken the Super Soldier Serum, the Mutant Amplifier, and the Tome of Asarius. That's the question everyone's trying to answer. So far, we don't even have a guess. And that's why you're going to talk to Mandarin. I'd like you to announce that today is Ben Grimm's 65th birthday. Happy birthday, According to Namorita, Masonic emitters are completely destroyed and the Atlanteans have begun cleanup of their city. No, quite the opposite. They're grateful. They understand you had to battle them to save their city from Atuma. Mr. Stark, there's Miss Mary and Miss Heather here in the main lobby to see you.
Okay. Colonel Fury, Red Ralston is on line six. That password you gave me worked like a charm. I had no problems getting into S.H.I.E.L.D.'s database. You are gonna love this. The Imperium, it's a S.H.I.E.L.D. think tank. You know, one of those places where they get geniuses together. Ah, uh, no. But I can find out by hacking into the S.H.I.E.L.D. priority database. But I need help from one of the few guys who can crack that code. C.B. Sobolski, or a guy named Baroge. I need you to talk to Hank Pym and find out which of those two guys I can trust. Greetings, Spider-Woman. May I say, you look quite smashing today. Jarvis, are you flirting with me? Why, uh, <coughs> certainly not. That would be most unprofessional, regardless of how attractive you are. All this commotion with the S.H.I.E.L.D. personnel has me somewhat flustered, I'm afraid. And then there's the matter of the seedy characters lurking about. Yes, I find this Mr. Weasel to be quite unnerving. You never know where he's gonna pop up next. Not to worry. The S.H.I.E.L.D. personnel will not find out about him from me. They haven't set foot in this area. I think Colonel Fury and his people prefer to stay near their equipment. You have my solemn word on it. It was my pleasure. Hey, how's it going? That it's a think tank? Yeah. But the big question is, what are they thinking about? Well, are they good guys who are helping humanity? Or are they bad guys who are coming up with new reality shows for TV? Ah, it's the same old story you've heard a hundred times. Boy gets bit by radioactive spider, boy gets spider superpowers, boy becomes world's most popular crime fighter. You know how it goes. Yes, Way. Only problem is, I can't spin webs. I had to create wrist devices to do that. You wouldn't believe how expensive web fluid is. Can't say that I'm a big fan. Maybe it's my loner state of mind, but large military groups like S.H.I.E.L.D. make me very paranoid. Maybe I'm just jealous of their limitless budget. I mean, they have their massive helicarrier and Omega base. I don't even have a Spidey-mobile. Now you know me. I'm just here to help. I am glad we were able to help the Atlanteans. While Namor is somewhat headstrong, he is a good ruler. My father, T'Chaka, was the king before me, but he was killed protecting our country's vibranium from Ulysses' claw. No, it was not that easy. First, I had to battle six of Wakanda's greatest warriors, and then I had to locate a very rare heart-shaped herb. After that, I was named ruler of Wakanda and the Black Panther. It is a very rare metal, 
that absorbs any type of vibration, from sound waves to the explosion of a bomb. Indeed, it is woven into the fabric of my suit and was used in the manufacture of Captain America's shield. Many have tried. All of them have failed at the hands of the Black Panther. Although Mandarin did come close once. Actually, his scheme was far more diabolical. He wanted to convert the vibranium into an element that would melt all metal on Earth. Luckily, he failed. You are quite welcome. It is good to see you again, Hank. Mr. Stark, there's Miss Bambi and Miss Heather here in the main lobby to see you. Sobolski? Oh yeah, I knew him back at MIT. A real computer genius. Too bad he ran with the hacker crowd. On a dare, CB tapped into the financial system of a major electric company and gave everyone 50 cents off their next bill. <laughs> Yeah, but I've got to hand it to CB. He never gave up the names of the other hackers he worked with, even when he was threatened with jail. No. Try Vision. I bet he'd know. No problem. And come back anytime you want. something better to do. 